Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I'm standing in front of a Board Pro, like a Cisco Board Pro with MTR software on it. So we see that it is the full Microsoft Teams experience. Um, we do have a Microsoft Teams meeting shown here uh, on the top and a WebEx meeting a little bit further down. Um, just take you through the user interface quickly. So we do have a certain settings here with the volume and additional settings we can go in here. We have a meet now functionality so you can invite somebody in the same tenant for example and have a meeting straight away. Uh, we have the whiteboard functionality which is taking a short moment to boot up. So we'll see the Microsoft Whiteboard is loading at the moment. There we go. And we can choose whatever we would like to draw, being it uh, a little figure here with curly hair and a tree next to it. So as we know it basically from a um, standard whiteboard, here are the roots of the tree and let's say the tree is standing in the water just for fun. There we go. Okay, so this would be the whiteboard. We can um, stop the whiteboard, it will go back to normal and if we want to show a presentation locally we can do this as well. So at the moment the uh, touch forwarding piece is not working but it is nicely sharing the screen via the USB-C connection going into the board pro. Then <coughs> let's uh, say exit full screen. When we do this we see at the bottom left a little image of what is shared and then let's like jump in the in these two meeting types so one of them is the Microsoft Teams meeting we go immediately on mute um, it comes up with the sharing at the moment first but we don't want to share so it is the self view I'm like coming into the self view I'm uh, setting up the camera here, the frames mode. So whatever is local to the device I can still be used in this Microsoft Teams rooms mode. Uh, I can even share uh, a source, a sharing source. So it's the presentation I showed earlier or is it the PC like a second HDMI input which can also be a PTZ camera. Um, I can still go through the audio intelligence I have available here and I can also test the microphone if I would like to here and change the brightness and the speakers which I go really low. Then let me <coughs> join from uh, Cisco, another Cisco device in this call via, via our CVI solution. So we see a participant is joining and it is showing me from the back. So this is the second device showing me here on the back. There we go. So let's change the camera view to frames as well. Okay, so this is working. We can see who is participating in the call. We can add a participant. Um, we have the views available. We can also share in the call, <coughs> let's say you would like to share this presentation again, then we'll have additional views available so we can switch to the gallery, the content becomes small, uh, we can switch to the content and the content becomes large and the uh, self view is still shown here and the content and gallery, meaning we see the participants and the content here at the same time. We can close to sharing, we can raise hands or send uh, images to the other, emojis to the other side. Um, and we have some additional settings here as well. 
even so even inside the call we can show a Microsoft Teams uh, whiteboard so we'll see it is loading now here as well it is taking a moment we have the comparison to earlier so it is taking a moment to load here and once it is loaded <coughs> there we go it's coming on and we can as well here start drawing the girl with the curly hair again and the tree if we want to spend some additional time. You notice it's slightly slower than out of the call but uh, I guess this is just a load on the device is slightly higher. So let's finish this call, <coughs> leaving it. Uh, the other device is leaving it as well. There I am in the meeting. I'm muted and I'll do the same here. I joined the meeting, the WebEx meeting from the Microsoft Teams room device. So I am straight in the meeting without doing anything uh, on top. So there we go. Um, you can see me now multiple times. We have this amazing uh, people focus feature installed. You can see me from the back, from back and from the front. This is the, the other board pro in framing mode. And from the back, you see me from a further device. So <coughs> we have all the features and functionalities available. We are no, we know, so we can hide the non-video participants, we can change the layout, we can um, also go back to the grid view, we can play around with the um, self view, we see all participants, we can also, as a host, could also mute and unmute the participants, and the Emojis are available, can be seen here as well. And we could, of course, also enable closed captions. So it will like read whatever it says on the, on the device. Okay, so let me see. I can actually share here as well the content I have connected. There we go. I can share what is in the call here. I can again like go through the various layouts I have available here, being it the um, focus layout, I can turn on and off the camera. So everything I know from the WebEx meeting is also available on the Microsoft Teams room device in a WebEx meeting. Okay, so leaving the call now. There we go, we see for a short moment what's underneath. So again, I have two buttons. One, I'm straight in the Microsoft Teams meeting. The second one, uh, I'm straight in the WebEx meeting. Maybe I do this again. In the WebEx meeting, I am muted and I'm straight in, in the view I would like to have or the device thinks it's best. So when I show myself here, it will actually go to this view here. There we go. So nice and big. Okay. So that was it. I uh, hope it is useful to see and show what the device can do in this Microsoft Teams room mode. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.